the administration of Akinola Azan in where the local council development area has made tremendous strides in the education sector since inception. In its latest attempt to raise the level of literacy and motivate students to strive for academic excellence, 380 students have been presented with brochure awards. Speaking on the exercise, the council chairman, Ramatolai Akinola Azan, said the initiative is a motivation for academic excellence and facilitate financial responsibilities with regards to the student's education. It gives me a great pleasure to be in the midst today between these ladies and gentlemen, our dear students of tertiary institutions. We are giving 380 students to be precious who are beneficiaries, who are beneficiaries of our administration we are 2021 Boss Free Award program today. It's a great brief that our education is a passport to the future for tomorrow. Belongs to those who prepare for it. Men want to understand that education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world. Is that not so? Yes. What can we use to change the world? I can hear you. It is our grief that the motorway support we are offering you today will go a long way in allowing you to continue your studies without any hardship. It is our grief that motorway support we are offering you today. With this bursary award you are receiving today, we have also been able to remove the agitation of how to raise funds for your school fees by your parents. The Brescia Awards were presented in batches with PhD students receiving 150,000 Naira, while students currently undergoing their master's programs received 100,000 Naira each. 30,000 Naira was also awarded to some undergraduates, while other undergraduates received 20,000 Naira each. Beneficiaries were filled with joy as they appreciated the leadership for the initiative. I'm one of the beneficiaries of this award system. I got 100,000 naira to support my education for my MBA program. And I want to say a very big thank you to her once again for what she's been doing because she's one, 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 one in a kind. We have so many local governments in uh, Lagos State that we are also expecting them to do what she's trying to do in our own SCDA year. If other uh, local government chairman also can also try to inculcate what this woman is trying to do here. I think when the thing go around, we have less of uh, non-educated citizens in uh, Lagos State as a whole. Yeah, to say to who much is given, much is appreciated. I would want to say that um, she, she, the Honorable um, Ramatalai Akiola, uh, she has done something so unique that um, I think. Going by for forward, all other stakeholders or probably chairman from the government should emulate from her by dipping, dipping and so deep to get something out for people and um, for students, probably for their education. I think it's a, it's a laudable one. I want to say thank you very much to her. I really appreciate it. And the money will really go a long way because I'm currently doing my project now, so it will be useful to me. and. Or that education the head of education department, Falakela Sisi, advised the beneficiaries to make judicious use of the largesse. I want them to be up and doing, to face their studies, because the huge amount expended on this by the local government, Oriya CDA, headed by the Honorable Mrs. Ramotalai Akinlola Azan. So they should justify the huge amounts expended on it by reading their books and succeed in their academic endeavors. Akinola Azan, in an interview, said our administration is committed to the education sector, hence the exercise, adding that the scheme will go a long way in helping the students improve their academics. They should face their studies and use the money wisely. I will continue if God give me the grace. Because I'm still looking ahead and I wish to go ahead. And the journey has just started and we continue to move ahead. 
With this scheme, students from Rear DLCDA will be motivated to pursue academic excellence.